Wake up, Jacob. Israelite prepper here. I want to share an article with you guys. It, it kind of tricked me out. I couldn't resist. I, I, I couldn't resist. Now, I don't know if you heard, but if, in case you didn't, I will include the link. But let me just read one of these articles here. There's a number of articles, but I wanted to pick this one here. Anyway, the title of the argument is Transgender Boy Wins Girls Wrestling Title as Texas struggles with transphobic laws. Okay? Now let's read the uh, title. Now it shows a picture of this kid, and I'll show you. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, it shows a picture of the kid. Now I'm going to read some of the art. Now, it says, when you look at the picture above of Mac Beggs, Mac Beggs, what do you see? I know what I see. A wrestler, an athlete, a champion, a boy. Yet, the state of Texas demands that you see a girl. I wonder why. The state demands that Beggs see a girl in the mirror. The high school athletic association try to force him to be a girl. Simply because Beggs has female on his birth certificate. Wow. Because you told the world at birth that you were a girl, you're mad that the world says, okay, you're a girl. But, okay. It has been prevented, or it has been prevented all wrestling season from competing against boys. Because Beggs still has girl naughty bits. The transgender young man is on the girls' team for Trinity High School just outside of Dallas. Born in a girl body, he has transitioned to male throughout his life. And here's the kicker, is taking testosterone supplements to aid his physical transition. Okay, I understand. Beggs is going through a transition from female to male. Beggs' story was the subject of a powerful profile and follow-up column over the weekend in the Dallas Morning News. The pieces point to the ridiculous rules Texas and its interscholastic organization force on transgender athletes. Hmm. So, if you have male naughty bits, you're considered a male. And if you have female naughty bits, you're considered a female. And that's a problem? When he won a regional competition last week, all hell broke loose, carrying on under carrying an undefeated season into the meet. He won some matches on the mat, other matches he won by forfeit by female athletes who refused to wrestle him. Well, because it's a female taking testosterone, which is an unfair advantage. Okay? He should have never had to win a match by forfeit, and he should have never been forced to wrestle against girls. Okay, so you want a girl with girl naughty bits who are who, who is taking testosterone to go into a match to fight to face boys. So th there's a lot of things I see with this. So you're a man or a woman, by the way, where are the parents? But you're a man or a woman, you're turning your little girl into a boy, and she is wrestling to boot taking testosterone, you want your little girl to wrestle boys. Also, does your little girl continue to go to the girls' locker room or the boys' locker room? The point is, there's confusion, but nobody wants to admit it. Oh no, it's simple to understand. The world has changed. That's how it is. We're fluid sexuals. We're whatever we want to be. In my Archie Barker voice, I remember those were the days when girls were girls, or men were men. Goyles were goyles, and men were men. Utter confusion. You can't call anyone what they are naturally, because we are now what we decide to be, what we feel like being. Madness. It's, it, let, me, let me continue. Yeah, because state law is so adamant about a few letters on a birth certificate. Yeah, it's no big deal. I mean, it's... No big, no big deal. Beggs has wrestled the girls. After all, participation, finding a way to hollow athletes to compete is the utmost importance in high school athletics. 
every every student allowed must be allowed to find their own way into competition. If this is what the state of Texas demands, then that's what he's done. There is no blame to be placed on Bex for any of the controversy that has erupted around him. None. Teenagers don't get the right policy, they have to live by it. Beggs is forced to participate on a girls team because the outdated Texas policy is written by politicians who refuse to accept that people can truly be transgender. I'll include a link on it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done with the argument, but people, this is what happens. Okay, this is what happens when you call evil good and good evil. Something as plain as Okay, the baby comes out, you look between its legs, and see which bits it has, and then that's what you call it. That's it. But, nobody wants to go by that. We, 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 we get to change and redefine everything. Now, I know some people may be watching it, like, oh, this is one of those, you know, Bible-thumping guys, these Hebrew Israelite guys, or whatever, and outdated, you just using the outdated Bible and all that. This is not for you anymore, okay? But I want to point out to you, Jacob, that there's nothing but utter confusion. And it's only going to get worse. Yes, I know it's been around, but this is just an example, a testament to the Sodom <coughs> and Gomorrah world that we live in. Okay? That's that's what's going on. It makes, it, it makes, someone needs to be punched in the throat. That's what needs to happen. A throat punch. Because this makes no, this, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I wish my daughter would try to come to me. That's my phone. I'm going to ignore it. Try to come to me and tell me which gender she is trying to decide to be. It's decided. It was decided when you were born. Okay? And I'll tell you what else. My sons, they better not get any ideas. Because then throat punches will be handed out. I'm done, Israel. Come on, Jacob, man. Until next time, read the Bible.